Hey everyone, today's video is one gift idea that will suit everybody. And I know you're like, what, how can one gift suit everybody? We're talking baby gifts, teacher gifts, gifts for men, which are always the hardest, gifts for acquaintances, gifts for someone at work you don't know all that well, gifts for a best friend. This gift idea will suit everybody and it will also suit every budget. It will also take pressure off you to think of one present that is just right. This gift idea makes it so much easier and I'm talking about hampers. And I'm not talking about like ordering a big hamper from a store or even making up a big hamper. These hampers are basically just collections that are themed. I love a good themed collection. Basically you choose a container, whether it's a mug or a great big wicker basket, preferably theme the container to the hamper, but you don't have to. And then you put in a collection of goodies on a theme. The more goodies that you pop into your hamper, the better, although they don't have to be expensive and they don't have to be a lot. You could just put in one or two things. It depends on who you're giving it to and what your budget is. I am going to run down a whole bunch of ideas and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about with themes and with themed containers. But I just wanted to talk about a few tips to start with. First tip is to choose a container. Now you can theme your container to the contents, but you don't have to. It just adds to the fun if the actual container is a part of the gift itself. Or you could just choose a box or even just a mug. It's totally up to you. Then you want to fill your container with goodies that support the theme. You can put in lots and lots of little bits and pieces or you could just put in one or two luxury items. It's totally up to you and what your budget is. A good idea for bits and pieces to include in your hamper are consumables. That way it doesn't matter who's receiving it, how much money they have, if they are that person who just has everything. If it's a consumable, it's something that they will use up and they will need more of, so your gift is still suitable. Whereas if you're giving them a thing, it might not be a thing that they like and want to keep. It may be something that they already have, but consumables are generally always welcome. You can personalize your hamper by repackaging some of the goodies. For example, if you are including cookies, you can use store-bought cookies, but then repackage them in a cute way. Go onto Pinterest or on the internet, you'll find loads of repackaging ideas to make things look cute. It's also a fun way of getting the items to match the theme. If you have like a color theme, for example, it's also a way of making your money go further. If you're making multiple little hampers, for example, for teachers, instead of putting a whole pack of something into one of the hampers, you can split that pack up amongst the hampers. So for example, if you are including pencils, you could buy a 12 pack of pencils and just put two or three pencils in each teacher's gift instead of like a whole 12 pack in each gift. It's fun to include at least one super luxury item, something that that person probably wouldn't normally purchase because it is more expensive. It doesn't have to be an expensive item, but expensive for what it is. For example, if it's coffee that you're including in your hamper, instead of buying kind of mid-range coffee, buy a really expensive luxury brand of coffee. It's not gonna cost the earth, I mean, it's just coffee, but it will feel more like a treat. So you've got your container, you've got your goodies to go into it. Just use tissue paper or something similar to stuff the container and pop all the bits and pieces in. You can wrap your items individually if you want to or just kind of put them into the container. Wrap it in cellophane and tie a bow and you're good to go. Everybody loves to receive a hamper and to kind of sort through and see what little bits and pieces are in there. So now I'm going to share some hamper ideas. I was going to actually make a few up and then I remembered that I'm not made of money and I don't have heaps of time. So I thought I would kind of do it in a virtual way. So as I talk about these different ideas, I will put all of the pictures on the screen. Obviously these aren't going to be all the ideas possible. Definitely check out Pinterest. There are so many awesome ideas online, but here are just a few to start you off. The first theme we're going to go with is ice cream. So your hamper container itself could either be a little cooler or it could be a bowl or a tray. Any of those three would be on theme and would create a little gift in itself. Into there you could put cones, colorful sprinkles, chocolate sprinkles, different ice cream sauces. You could put long spoons like Sunday spoons, a nice ice cream scoop, marshmallows, M&Ms, you could put little ice cream bowls, and then when you package it all up, put a bow on, who wouldn't want to receive an ice cream themed hamper? So you'll notice there's no actual ice cream in the hamper because if you're taking this to someone's house or if you're mailing this, you don't wanna to have to worry about the ice cream melting, but they have everything in there to have a fun ice cream time if they just purchase the ice cream. You could include a voucher for ice cream or like a, a gift voucher to a grocery store where they could purchase the ice cream if you wanted to make it complete and not 
expect them to buy anything to make the, the gift actually work but there's your ice cream themed hamper idea the next idea is baking so i would choose a nice big mixing bowl and into it you could put oven mitts cookie cutters cupcake cases icing tips novelty baking tin sprinkles novelty toppings cupcake picks measuring spoons you don't have to put all of these things in you could just pick three or four items to put into the bowl but these are just some ideas of what you could put into a baking themed hamper okay men are very hard to buy for but if you know somebody who loves golf you could do a golf themed hamper i would package this up in probably just a little box i don't know what container you could use that would be themed maybe a hat but unless you know the person very well and know what kind of hat they're gonna wear that could be a bit of a fail so just choose a box and in there you can put a little towel you can put some sunscreen some golf balls some teas and anything else that you think a golfing person would enjoy next up is a hamper theme that we've actually given as a gift and it is camping we chose a nice big plastic bowl that they could use while camping and into it we put s hooks these are super handy to use around your campsite for hanging up all kinds of things whether on your tent poles or on trees bungee cords after sun lotion, bug spray, hand sanitizer, extra tent pegs, lights for hanging in a tent, torches and batteries, those kind of things. For a gardening themed hamper, I would choose a harvesting trug or basket. And into there you could pop some gloves, a trowel, clippers, seeds, hand lotions, band-aids. You can get themed band-aids with different print on and that would be really cute. Twine and plant markers. For a coffee themed hamper, you could include a luxury coffee, creamer, flavored syrups, a travel mug or a regular mug or both, some nice biscuits or biscotti to have with their coffee, chocolate, and you could pack that all up into a nice basket or box. Any of these hampers could be made mini and you can just pop it into a mug. So for the coffee themed one, you could have a couple of coffee drink sachets like a cappuccino sachet, some chocolates, a few biscuits, you could just make it mini instead of a whole big bowl or hamper that goes for any of these hampers for a spa hamper i would either choose a nice basket or you could have like a bathtub themed container although i'm not sure how often they would use that afterwards you could include foot soak body scrub a bath bomb a headband lotion or body butter bath salts soap a magazine nail file shower gel face mask any kind of pampering goodies could go into your spa themed hamper back to men again who can be difficult to buy for what about a diy themed hamper grab a toolbox and into there you could pop screws nails a screwdriver band-aids hand lotion work gloves eye protectors ear protectors extension leads pliers drill bits tape measure any kind of bits and pieces that you would use for diy i've done a reading themed hamper before that was fun to put together so grab yourself a tote bag or book bag and into it you can put bookmarks thumb holder this you pop on your thumb and then you press between the pages of a book so you can hold the book open single-handedly it's just a fun little gimmicky gift a magazine a book post-it notes pens socks to keep warm and cozy while you're reading bath salts so you can read in the bath notepad tissues in case you're reading a sad book a candle and a snack for a beach or pool themed hamper i would use a beach bag as the container and into there you can pop sunscreen after sun lotion a towel magazine lip balm water bottle and bug spray for a christmas themed hamper you could use a stocking to put the goodies in and you could include things like christmas themed sprinkles candy canes an ornament a candle a mug you could put gift tags a cheese knife like who doesn't have crackers and cheese at christmas time socks and tic tacs like the little candy cane themed tic tacs if you don't want to have an actual theme for the items to follow you could just choose a color so if the person you're giving it to if their favorite color is yellow you could choose a yellow tote bag and into it put a yellow pen lip balm snacks tic tacs candle notepad socks nail polish soap and a mug and whatever else you can come up with that is the correct color obviously things like baby hampers are easy to come up with baby goodies are small and you can put whatever bits and pieces together in a hamper if you're doing a hamper for a best friend you could just put in things that you know are her favorites things that spark memories together things that you could even do together but i hope this hamper idea has been helpful to you like i said you can make them really small do your hamper in a mug or really big you can spend as little or as much as you like and you can usually find a way to theme it to the person that you're giving it to 
this video might be a bit late for teacher appreciation gifts but I know it's only July but I've already started thinking about Christmas and hopefully this will be helpful as we draw closer to the end of the year. If you have themed hamper ideas please leave them in the comments below so if you're watching this video and you want more ideas do go and check out the comments for more inspiration. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.